do an HBCU tradition made its way to the Queen City today. We are talking about the Battle of the Bands. Several historically black colleges and universities gathered at the Memorial Stadium, but thunderstorms, as Alicia was just talking about, called for some improvising. WBTV's Erica Lunsford shows us how the weather did not put a damper on the parade. Trumpets, blah, 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 big, blah. <laughs> the drum is going, yeah, it's going to be crazy. There's a lot to look forward to each year at Battle of the Bands. For Winston-Salem stay here, the Aggies going to be here, Talladega going to come up, they showed it. Out Bethune last. Cookman, okay, Bethune Mississippi Cookman. Valley. Oh, Mississippi Valley. This year's 2024 Labor Day Classic HBCU Battle of the Bands means more than music for those who attend. You look around and you see a lot of love going on out here, and that's what it's all about, giving that love and that energy out here. Many were taking their seats in the stands when... We need everybody to exit the stadium. We have a weather delay, and they are asking everybody to exit the stadium. With fans forced to go back to their cars, band members shared they didn't come this far just to come this far. It's a lot of preparation when it comes to making sure everything was good. And then you got to also think about like first time quality for sure. We've been practicing so long. I mean, it's we're just ready to perform. Like we've been practicing so it's time to perform and put it all out there. So the bands battled it out in the Grady Cole Center in hopes for the weather delay to pass. Going full out as if they were playing on the field. Although the show didn't go as planned, those who helped organize it say the legacy Battle of the Bands leaves behind impacts the community. Right, HBCU culture is just something different that no one can put their fingers on unless you step into that space. And so being able to bring that energy to Charlotte, to our community, economic development, um, scholarship opportunities, college educational opportunities, it just means the world to me. Reporting in Charlotte, Erica Lunsford, WBTV, on your side.